Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with a Target.com haul. They had two days of like prime savings or whatnot, and that included clothes. Some of these items I have never seen go on sale before, so I was like, I'm gonna pick them up and see if I like them actually. Some of this stuff I have tried on before and I liked, so I wanted to get them while they were at the sale and see if I was actually gonna keep them. Anyways, here is the haul. I'm gonna do this really quick because Number one, I'm like bloated. Number two, I'm very tired. And number three, it's hot. I just wanna get it over with and done with. So here's the first outfit. This shirt is just an old navy top that I am uh, that I already own. I figured a black top would be what I would wear with a lot of the clothing that I have. So we're gonna go with it. Black old navy top, but this is the skirt that I purchased. It is from Wild Fable, because obviously it looks a little bit youthful. It is a leopard animal print skirt. It's not quite uniform, like there's a little bit of swirliness to the print. It also has a mid-knee slit at the side as well. It has an elastic waistband at the back, but the front is a smooth paneling. I got a size small. This originally runs for $20. I think I got mine for $14, something, something along those lines. I wish it had pockets, it does not. I believe it's just a rayon fabric. It's very light, very airy. For me, I'm 5'5", it comes right about at my ankles. I almost wonder if I should have sized up to a medium. It feels just ever so slightly snug, and I always forget to do that for Wild Fable. I'm across the board on Wild Fable. Like I can, sometimes I need an extra small, sometimes I need a medium. This might be an okay fit for me, honestly. It does go right at the smallest part of my waist, and it feels comfortable, it's just ever so slightly snug. I think if the front, uh, paneling here was elastic as well. I would feel like it gives, give, would give me a little bit more room, but I don't mind it to be honest. And also I'm bloated today, so this might not be how it fits tomorrow. The joys of being a lady. Anyways, what do you guys think? I am on the fence. Like, I think it's really light and nice. I was actually a little bit afraid that it'd be kind of sheer and see-through. Uh, it looks pretty opaque to me. I'm trying to get in on the bandwagon or on the train for leopard print, but I know it's just very trendy and I don't know how often I would pull for it. I actually bought the really pretty and cute Wild Fable baby doll uh, tea dress in the animal print as well. I posted a picture of that, or no, an Instagram story of that on my Instagram. I just didn't know if I liked it and also felt very hot in it, so I actually already returned those. Didn't even bother taking a video or a picture um, or anything else for them, but returned those. But yeah, here is this skirt. Let me know what you guys think. If you own this skirt, let me know. I've been really just wanting a either a midi or a long length skirt, so this might be an option I keep. And for $14, it's really not that bad. Um, in the sunlight, it does actually look a little bit more pink. Here, I'm gonna, do you guys see that? Looks ever so slightly more pink than it does the animal, typical, I guess, animal colored earth tones. So I think that's kind of a neat factor to it. I do think I like it a lot more because there is a slit though that adds a little bit more airiness and movability to it. So here is the first piece. And here I have a Knox Rose dress. It is a black dress. It has one of these tie up doodads, but I kind of like to leave it open to give it more of a v-neck. It has this really pretty embroidered detail that goes all the way down the front. I think it kind of gives you an elongating sort of feature. It does have some of that similar detail right at the bust line as well. For me, I have a bigger bust, so it's a little bit like above my bust line, but I think it's okay because of the black. It doesn't really affect it too much. The length hits me right above the knees. It is not lined, but I don't think it's very see-through or sheer rather, uh, and it's a little bit longer in the back. You can see it's kind of a high-low. It is an okay dress. I have tried this on a few times in store, in my house. <laughs> I've tried it on with some shoes, and I'm just not quite sure if I like it because I do feel like while it's very comfortable, would be perfect for summer, I don't know if it's the most flattering thing on me. I think it kind of almost looks like bordering maternity wear slash just a pajama nighty sort of thing. I do think it is pretty. I just don't know if the cut is favorable for me personally. I would maybe prefer it if it was a little bit cinched in here and if that uh, embroidered detail dropped a little bit for me because this is not the smallest part of my body. But 
it is pretty comfortable. This is uh, originally $27.99. I picked it up for, I believe, about 20 bucks during the sale. So it's not a bad price, especially for Knox Rose, which I feel like is a little bit on the higher price scale at Target. I don't know why, because I feel like the quality is just about the same as everything else. But it is one of those brands that has been at Target forever. It's kind of got more of that boho feel to it anyways. But I think this is going to go back. I just can't imagine pulling for this. Uh, on the regular so let me know what you guys think though see I wonder if almost the high low nature of it makes me feel like it's a 90 <laughs> I'm not sure maybe it would look better if I put on some shoes with it but honestly I have other dresses that I feel like I would pull for more than this one even though it is pretty I do think that the detail of it going down here is very nice that's probably the only reason I bought it uh, and the fact that it was black and it had a really nice like v-neck sort of de design to it but not for me here is another wild fable skirt this is a floral pattern it kind of comes up in the center it also has a slit in the center as well it has button details which i think is very hard to see do you guys see because the buttons are tiny and they really just blend with the actual pattern however there are some button details no pockets it is a little bit longer in the back, as you can see. It's got a bit of a ruffly nature to it at the bottom. This feels actually a lot looser than the leopard print one, or the animal print one. It's the same idea though. It has a flat front, but a full elastic back, and you can see that's a lot more room. So in this one, I almost feel like I want to size down because it feels a little bit loose, but it probably this is probably the comfortable fit for me, again, I'm just a little bloated today, but what you gonna do about that? I kind of prefer the other skirt. I don't know. I feel like this one's just a little bit plain. I'm not quite sure as a full outfit. I mean, I guess I would just wear sandals with it. It's okay. It, I don't think it's my favorite. This again, Wild Fable, $20. Um, so I think I got it for, again, 14 something along those lines, 13, something along those lines. So not a bad deal for a skirt. I believe it's a full rayon fabric. Again, it's very, very soft, very comfortable. I, I'm okay with rayon. I know some people don't like it because it does get a little bit wrinkly at times. However, I think rayon is just really comfortable against my skin. I like the weight of rayon. I don't mind, like I think this is a full, I think all the Old Navy Luxe shirts are rayon, 100% rayon too, and, and I love them. So, but here is this skirt. I think this is so much prettier, oh my goodness. This is from Who What Wear, it is an animal print skirt. It's a little bit more of an undertoned print, I feel like, than the last one that I showed. The print is a little bit smaller. I sized myself to a size six in this because there is no stretch at all. This is like a 100% polyester fabric, but it does have that really pretty pleating. There is the top layer, which is the actual animal print, and then, if I can get it, there is a black lining to it. It is pretty much a, I guess it's a midi length skirt for me. I really love the pleating in this. I tried this on in store in a four, and it was just so snug in my belly. I was like, oh, I need to size up in this. So got a size six online. This runs for $30 from Who, What, Where, but with the sale, I believe I got it for, 20-ish, something along those lines. I absolutely prefer this one to the last one. I think it's just a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit older or fancier. I'm not sure, I don't know if I meant older, but just a little bit more grown up in nature, <laughs> I don't know. I really do wish that the uh, waist had some sort of elastic or any sort of stretch at all. It is a full button here as you can see, and then there's a zipper detail here. No pockets, I wouldn't have minded pockets in this either, but I think this is a really pretty skirt. I actually love the way it falls and flows while you walk. I think it would look really pretty in the fall. I feel like you could still wear it in the summer. And because it's a little bit more understated than the last skirt, I feel like you could wear it dressed up, dressed down, because the other skirt I don't think could wear dressed up very much, but this one I definitely feel like you could. All the way around. Oh my goodness, I just think it's so pretty. I think I like this one a lot. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the other one? The other one is definitely more youthful, definitely gives you that boom, it's an animal print sort of feel to it, but goodness, this is just so lovely. 
I don't mind the fabric. Typically, I hate polyester, actually, to be honest with you, but it really does help that this inner lining is not too bad. It feels more like a faux satin, but still feels a little bit polyester to me, in my opinion. I wouldn't have minded if that was a different material altogether, but I like it. Again, who, what, where. Very pretty. Oh my goodness. I was so against the biker shorts trend, but then I saw a bunch of girls wearing biker shorts with oversized tees and I was like, y'all look like the most comfortable people out here right now. We are all fools for wearing anything else than what you're wearing because it is so unforgivingly hot out. So I was like, let me try to buy some and see if I like it. Here are some from Wild Fable. They are a very, Mm, almost flowery, but they are an animal print, but I feel like it's a very understated animal print once again. They're pretty stretchy. I got a size small. These were from Wild Fable again. These were $12 originally. I got them for uh, less than 10 for sure. They go about mid-thigh for me. They're pretty high-waisted, honestly, to tell you the truth too. Like my belly button is here, like just about touches my belly button. I think they're pretty comfy. <laughs> I'm not mad at them. I think they're all right. I don't know if I'll be keeping these or not. I ordered some Lululemon six inch align shorts as well. So if I really end up loving those, I'll just keep those and wear those as biker shorts. But I do think that these probably are a little bit longer in the inseam than those. They feel pretty comfortable though, honestly. They're very stretchy. These actually, it's so weird because I have these and then I bought a black pair and they were one, uh, uh, different prices. Two, and I assumed the different prices because of the print, not because of anything else, but they're also very different sizes. I'll show you guys that after I try on the black pair. There are different sizes in both the length as well as the waist, but they are both size smalls and they are both from Wild Fable. So there you go with clothing sizes, right? Here we are though. I'm okay with them. They're all right. I think they'd be super comfy to wear at home too if you just want to wear like leopard print biker shorts at home. I'm okay with them. For the price, they're really decent, honestly. Not bad at all. I would probably just wear them with like a shirt like this or something actually probably baggy and baggier and looser or a really big like swing tank top or something like that. So not bad. And here are the black ones. These black ones are much longer and definitely much more snug. The smalls fit really fine, honestly, but I almost wonder if I should have gone up to a medium to give it a slightly looser feel. Cause I mean, these are pretty snug like a bug, but maybe they look better that way. I don't know. I'm not sure. They are really high waisted though. I'm actually very impressed by how, how high waisted they are. My belly button's like somewhere in the depths of this blackness. They're okay, I'm okay with them. I almost feel like the other ones were had a softer material. So when we go ahead, so when I go ahead and compare the two shorts, I'll also look at the material content of both and see what each is made out of. I, I feel like the animal print ones are just ever so slightly softer. These have a slightly synthetic itchy feeling to them and I don't know why, but these were so cheap, these were, seven dollars retail price so i got these for under five i think very very cheap leggings if you just want no nonsense no fuss biker short leggings i mean definitely these have got to be like a 10 inch inseam i would say something like that uh, i would say go ahead go true to size if you want something a little bit more snug or if you want something just ever so slightly not looser but i guess yeah not looser but they're not like loose because they're you know, they're biker shorts. If you ever want ever something ever so slightly looser, size up for sure in these anyways. I feel like for the animal print ones, I actually prefer just getting true to size for those because I feel like they are just a lot more stretchy. And just to show you what I meant by the size difference, so you can see these are both from Wild Fable. They are both size smalls. The black, again, are $7 versus the animal print, which are $12. But look at the significant difference in the waistband. I mean, that's gotta be at least an inch, maybe just ever so slightly less than an inch as far as that goes. Um, you can see that the black ones are ever so slightly longer. And as far as fabric content, the animal print ones are 96% uh, cotton with 4% spandex. And the black ones, watch, they're the same. 
95% cotton with 5% spandex. So actually the black ones have a little bit more spandex to them. So I would, I'm surprised that they are uh, not as stretchy. Well, you know what though? The cut is bigger of the animal print. So honestly, these are probably stretchier and that's why I probably, probably felt okay in them. But I don't know. I, I prefer the cut of the animal print ones just ever so slightly more. So that, th thank you for coming to my TED talk. That's what I want to talk about these biker shorts for like nine minutes. Here, let's keep going. Oh my goodness. If you guys know me at all, you know that for the past like four years, I've been looking for short alls that I, I feel like that fit me okay, that don't make me look like a grown baby and that I feel comfortable in. I am top heavy, so I feel like a lot of times this apron top bit really is small and so then it makes my top look bigger. I just have a wide, I have a large bust, I have a big chest, so it's hard to find the perfect uh, short all or even overalls in general. These are from Wild Fable. They are originally $28. I got a size small in these. I actually tried on a size medium in store once and I found that the legs, the uh, pant, the shorts rather, were really, really wide and baggy. So when I ordered these online, I went ahead and got a size small and I think it fits pretty good. Do I look like a oversized toddler what do you guys think i think they're actually pretty decent i purchased maybe two or three of these a couple years ago from old navy and i just didn't like them so i returned those but i actually kind of think i like these so these have obviously the adjustable straps here it has the front pocket which i'm glad it's not a tiny pocket i feel like those also can affect the way this whole top portion looks it has the functioning pockets here, a little bit of distressing here, and also the wide ripped hem shorts. So maybe that's what helps too. I feel like the shorts in the old navy ones that I purchased before were like a rolled cuff or a little bit more fitted at the thigh. Maybe that the, maybe the fact that these are just looser and baggier in the thigh kind of help it overall proportionally for me. Kind of gives it a bigger bottom than top. I don't know, but it kind of feel. I kind of feel like it works. What do you guys think? I kind of like them. I'm gonna do a sit down test and make sure that I don't feel completely naked because they are a little bit short. I feel like in the back, ever so slightly. But I feel like I have shorts that are shorter than these two. So we shall see. I would probably just wear it with a black shirt like this or a tank or something underneath. I think they're all right though. I don't know. These are actually pretty good. So again, these were retail price $28. I think I got them for less than 20 or around 20 with the discount. I am not mad at these right now. Let me know what you guys think. This is what I hate about overalls or short alls in general, but it does like this, all this bunching and pouching when you sit down. You know what I mean? It's just like this fabric doesn't know where to go when you sit. It's just... It is what it is. I think it's fine when I sit down though. The back of my thighs are slightly exposed, but again, I have shorts that are a little bit more exposed than that. So I feel like they're okay when I sit, just all that bunching that happens when you sit down. This is very lovely, isn't it? But I mean, what am I gonna do, not sit? That's crazy. I think they're okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to these and see how I feel about them. Okay, this is a lot of denim. I know I wasn't about to change it to something else. I also got the Wild Fable jean jacket it is the oversized trucker style one i've tried this on in a inside the dressing room i've purchased this before i in in both an extra small and a small this is a small i prefer the size of the small to the extra small and i told myself okay you can get this but only if it actually goes on sale one day because it has not gone on sale since i've tried it on so this actually did go on sale finally and it's a pretty good sale not like a three dollar off sale but I was, you know, pretty much 30 to 35% off. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. And I think I love it. <laughs> Cause I think this will be great for, obviously not now, it is too hot, but I think it'll be good for winter, fall. Just something to throw on. It's nice and oversized, it's comfortable. I think it's, I don't have a denim jacket at all. I have a pseudo denim jacket that has sweatshirt sleeves and a hood, so that's, different obviously it's not a denim jacket but that's the only other thing that I have and I feel like this is really quite nice and I couldn't stop thinking about it I should just go for it it's the best denim jacket I've ever tried on and I've tried on quite a few to try to figure out 
because I want one. I just haven't found one that I loved and this is the one that I've loved the most. So I told myself once it goes on sale, I could get it. This is, I think originally $30. Oh wait, where's the tag? Well, I think it's on the back, but I think it's originally $30, but with the sale, it was just around 20, maybe a little bit more than that, but I am pretty stoked. So this is definitely gonna be something that I keep in this whole try on, oh my goodness. And that is my Target haul for the day. I have one more animal print skirt coming in, which will help me decide which animal skirt I'm going to end up keeping. That one is a lighter lighter print, and I believe it's more of this high quality material and design to it. So depending on how I like that, we'll see. I kind of really love this skirt though, but again, I also feel like I need to wait and try that on again when I'm not so bloated. <laughs> We'll see, that's all just body stuff. Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna keep this uh, flower print skirt. It's very light and very cute. I just don't think I'll wear it. This skirt is nice. I just feel like it is not something that I would reach for and seems very trendy, like extremely trendy to the point of where I wouldn't wear it again. This, even though it's trendy, I feel like it looks classy enough that I could still wear it, especially to more formal occasions. Not that I go to any, I always say stuff like that, but I'm like, when have I gone to a formal occasion? I can't even remember. Anyways, that's the skirt dealio. I'm gonna keep the jean jacket. I love that and I have not seen that jean jacket go on sale yet for that significant of an amount. Actually, I don't think I told you guys the price of this. So this is from, again, Wild Fable, size small. It's $32. So I definitely got it for something in the $20, $20 range. These biker shorts are okay. I just don't love them. I feel like I should spend a little bit more for something that I love quality wise. I think there's some Athleta biker shorts that are on sale right now, so I might go try those. I'm getting some Align shorts from Lululemon in. If I've never tried the six, six inch inseam ones on, so if they are long enough and can go for a biker short, I might just keep those, but I don't think these are my favorite. They're cheap, but again, I'd rather go for a nice quality versus price for something like this anyways. And I'm thinking about this. I actually think I like it. I think I'm probably gonna end up keeping it. So again, that was $28, but again, I got it for a really good discount. So not a bad haul. I've already returned that black dress, actually. That black dress is already gone. And that was 20 bucks. So the only other piece of clothing I'm clothing that I'm waiting for is that animal print skirt. And once I get that in, I'll just edit that clip in here somewhere. And then maybe I'll add another clip saying which animal print skirt I'm gonna keep, I don't know. But for now, this is goodbye until that skirt comes in. The final skirt is here. Here it is. It is another who, what, wear skirt in this animal print. Very similar to that blue navy blackish one. This is obviously a much lighter tone though, and it has the very small animal print details all over it, as you can see. It's kind of more of a light tan, almost undertonish of pink to it, I feel like, or maybe yellows, I'm not sure. It's just very light colored. It has the pleating detail, just like the darker one, so it flows really pretty when you walk. It is a midi dress, so it has this sheer top layer, which is the pleated layer, and then it does have a slip underneath, which is very nice. It is a complete zip detail with the button here. I cannot get mine to zip all the way up. And I don't know if it's, does the zipper actually stop there? No, I feel like the zipper goes all the way up, but I can't get mine to do it. And I can't tell if it's because this is very small. I feel like this is even tighter than that blue one that I purchased. So I size to a size six in this, and I have that other one in a size six as well. I'm typically a four, anywhere from a two to a six. Fours are typically my go-to for most things. But these, because they have no stretch at all at the waist, it's very, very tight. I almost wish that they had kept this smooth uh, panel in the front and a bit of smocked or just elastic in the back just to offer a little bit of stretch because this is a tight boy on me right now. My goodness gracious. I'm not really sure about it. I kind of wish there were pockets too. It is very pretty though. I am 5'5 five five again for reference. I just have it on with a black old navy tank top right now. But it is really nice. I just, I think I'm gonna try on the blue one again because this is slightly uncomfortable, like how tight it is. And I'm just, my goodness, if I, I mean, I don't mind going up to a size eight, but I just know that these are either low in stock or like almost sold out because I think they're an older season or maybe in the spring, I think these originally came out. They're just really tight on me. I might be slightly bloated as well today, but it just feels real constricted. <laughs> 
I think that is pretty much the smallest part of my waist though, or maybe a little bit higher. It is nice. Uh, originally this was $29.99. I got it for $20.99, I believe. So a pretty good sale discount. But I just, I mean, if, if it's not comfortable, I just know I won't wear it. And I almost feel like I prefer the darker colored one. I feel like I would wear that more often. But I do love this pleated detail, the way that it drapes, the way that it hangs, and the way that it flows. I love the midi length of it too, and I don't have a midi length skirt like this. I would like to keep one, I just don't know which one. But there it is, you guys. This is the final skirt. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more from me, check out the links in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Target or if you've picked up any new fall Target pieces. I'm kind of looking to see what people are buying. I really don't need a lot of uh, stuff right now. I do need some more tops and t-shirts. I always do. That's like the area that I struggle in the most. But let me know about that. If you guys want to see more from me in general, go ahead and click subscribe. I have just a bunch of various content. But if you guys happen to like what you see, definitely hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which skirt I should keep down below as well, you guys. Thanks so much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!